so this is very important. How can you engage and co-create with, with society, with, with community? Bring them in, go there, have deep relationships, and realize that there is co-creation horizontally, which means that you're co-creating, uh, there's co-creation vertically, which means that you're working with, uh, with policy members all the way down to the community and horizontally across disciplines and agencies. So you're striking strategic partnerships. So you have technology partners, telecom partners, bank finance partners, etc., who, who are learning from this and who are engaging in this. You're looking around and seeing what are new resources, what are waste streams, what are the resources that we haven't realized are resources, and we're going to use them. And if you do a, a brainstorming exercise and a need finding exercise for even half a day, you would be surprised at how many resources you find you never thought of as resources, right? And this is, of course, you already have your RAM resilience projects. They are really useful as platforms of extending your thinking and creating a practice. Because those RAM projects are not just projects in order to give you the outcome, it's a capability, capability building device and it would be really short-sighted to miss out on that opportunity. One of them are your students who are going to comply with whatever you tell them, right? So they're going to say, okay, you are telling me to build a prototype, I'll do a prototype and then I'll get my grade and go on to do the real stuff, right? Or you have people who are extremely intellectual, and they say, fine, I get it, I get it, I'll do it. But they don't really do it. They intend to do it, right? They don't build it into their lives. And the third is people who completely internalize it and don't even think it's special. How many of think, us think that brushing our teeth or using soap when we bathe is special? If you what we do now is, where are we in time? Um, Jackie, can you help me figure out my, the time? So you have a, a tool now at each of your spaces. Um, and basically, it's all about the actu acupuncture points that Vanny just mentioned about building an innovative culture. And so what we'd like you to do is basically start by creating a vision just within your team of how you would like to see uh, an innovative culture be built. OK, so it's, it's pretty high level, but come up with a catchy title like you did with your courses. What are new research opportunities that you could, could work on? And also, what are ways you could take existing research and build innovative aspects or, into it? Um, what are new strategic MOOCs opportunities? So already we had one team working on a potential MOOCs opportunity. Um, and what are interesting ways that you could engage the community? So specifically, we want you to focus on end beneficiaries and how you could think of ways of actually engaging them in your innovation culture. And so I want to go back to this list of acupuncture points, and we can live, we actually leave these acupuncture points up here um, because they're extremely important. Um, is around the cultural cues. So um, the way that I learned innovation was at Stanford, and they did a really good job of basically packaging the material in a very visual way. And so when you learn need finding, you get visuals of what does need finding mean, what are the frameworks, what are the tools. And they've, they've made it really cool to be an innovator and to be involved in that community. So people around campus are saying, oh, that cool place, you know, with all the post-its and everything. You, you, you work there, you should class there. And I'm not going to name the other university I went to, but there's another university where I took a design thinking course. And they simply gave all the participants, like, basically a, a handout with slides of what design thinking is. Right, and I thought if this was the first experience that I got with design thinking, I probably would have read it and said, oh, this is really interesting, and moved on, not internalized it in the same way. Um, similarly, also, when I first found out about design thinking, it was through a poster which said, come redesign the food experience. And that was what drew me in. So think about the visuals, you know, different um, branding, advertising techniques you might use to engage people, and also ways to make it a movement across anything that 